much homework do you guys have to do, like learning like the different languages? And, like, quite a lot. Well, you get quite a lot. Funnily enough, I'm the alien, and he speaks more Arabian than I do, which it's is so unfair. <laughs> so um, there are seven languages, yeah. and um, and our language guy who was mentioned, David, who was mentioned, who did the uh, languages for um, Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. Um, he came up with three, so far, three full languages, and I mean the entire language, and then four kind of semi-languages that he's still working on. The guys, the guys are genius. So we speak a lot of alien. Uh, and honestly, awesome, can ride horses, shoot guns, speak three alien languages. Can you talk a little bit about your relationship with the Can you <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, yeah. Um, yeah, it's quite a rocky relationship. I mean, but they would, they would die for each other. I mean, they are um, very close and really loyal towards each other. Um, and yeah, I guess, I guess he has to deal with my growing up. I do. I mean, once we get to defiance, it's about how we relate to all the other characters and me growing up and being. Yeah, she's just sort of, yeah, and just how I, he's got to deal with the boys and things like that, and I've got to deal with all his women, so, <laughs> yeah, I'm not too happy about that. No, and you know, we, um, these two have been scavengers, they've been wanderers, so they very much lived in the Badlands since um, Stephanie's character was very, very small. So um, they've never had to share each other. And also, you know, it's a father-daughter and also mentor kind of student relationship. You know, he taught her how to play with knives and, you know, hurt people. So they come into this town, but she's not socialized. She has no idea to behave in a polite company. Uh, he remembers it and can kind of adapt. So, you know, I think Stephanie's character has got the challenge of, of learning how to socialize with other people. Quite animal-like, very kind of wolf like And he's got the challenge of um, basically his own nature. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Now with the story, are you going to have any kind of like origin? Because obviously, uh, where, where's the mother? <laughs> you get to find out. You find all that out. I yeah. do? Okay. Yeah. And they're not a natural father-daughter relationship. Okay. They've adopted each other along the way. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. Is this sort of geek culture something you're into at all, or is it yeah, just yeah, I love it. I love it so much. Yeah. Um, this is my favorite deal, Comic Con. I love this more than anything. I came for the first time last year and um, fell in love. I. Uh, uh, I, I love the sci-fi aspect of things, I'm a gamer, um, so, you know, for me this is heaven on the stick. Yeah, I mean, I, I got here yesterday and I, my eyes were on stalks um, in the convention centre and I had to go back and sleep for a couple of hours and then go back and <laughs> take it all in again, so, yeah, it's, it's incredible. What gets you good at? What are the things that you have to I love the elegance of design in, in a lot of this stuff, you know, I mean, particularly in this show, you know, they were talking about the the four years development. When we walked in uh, to start pre-production, I went into the art department first because I wanted to see what they were doing. You know, I wanted to see what I'd be wearing, you know, what we'd be, what we'd have in our hands, what we'd be driving, what we'd be interacting with. And I've never seen more elegant design. They were so far ahead of the curve. Like, because they've been having this conversation and arguing things backward and forward for years before we even got there. So that aspect of it, that kind of established world behind us, was already so beautifully evolved and, and, and developed before we walked in the door. That stuff I geek out on. I geek out on, you know, when, when truly kind of, um, you know, epic design matches, it meets the world and how and, and the possibilities that that creates. You know, I love the tech, I love, um, you know, I love the kind of, the stuff with the languages, you know, like, but each language has its own syntax and grammar. Yeah, that's you know, it's, 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 one of the languages is a cross between Iroquois and, uh, I think it's Swahili, yes, yeah. in terms of its grammar and syntax. So you get into that stuff and it's, you know, then you want to play with it all. 